If you're not confident selling, you will not sell. You have got to be confident. But how? If you have no experience selling, if you have no wins under your belt, how do you have that confidence? I'm going to show you exactly how today. Let's get it. Hey, I'm Matt Wallach. I help software leaders accelerate their sales. We can gain more leads, we can close more deals, we can get an unbelievable amount of revenue for your company. Now, if this is the first time that you're here, definitely subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down below and the bell next to it so you'll be notified about all my upcoming videos. That way you'll be getting all the tips, all the tricks, all the training, exactly how to close more deals. Now, today we're talking about confidence. Absolutely vital so you can get deals closed, but if you haven't closed a lot lately, if you haven't done any sales, if you're losing deals, confidence can be tough to come by. So we're going to make sure we give you how to get confident today. Now, before we do that, if this is good for you, hit the like button. That shows me this is something that's going to help you and I can make more videos like this. Okay, so how are we going to be confident? Number one, follow a proven methodology. If you're trying to just do things on your own, just winging it, doing what you think is going to work in sales, it's going to be a struggle. I myself struggle with that. I kept banging my head against the wall, kept trying to figure out how am I going to sell more, and I couldn't do it. I only realized I needed a proven process once I was hitting rock bottom. So I went out and learned everything I could, soaked it all up and put it together into a process that works for B2B software sales. It's called the perfect deal process. If you wanna learn more about how you can do that, check out this video right here. The perfect deal process is going to show you exactly how to close more deals. Now, once you start following a proven process, you start seeing results. It's proven because it's worked for other people. In fact, my process worked great for me. We scaled the company, eventually exited. I did it with another company, eventually exited that. And now I teach people all over the world how to dominate their sales within the software world. And so this process has worked for hundreds of companies. And once you know it's worked for hundreds of other companies, that gives you confidence to know it's going to work for you too. So that confidence is critical. Once you know you're doing the right thing, now you know what you need to do next. That brings us to number two, practice. Once you have the right methodology, you've got to practice it. Just learning it and hoping it's gonna work out, that's not gonna make it happen. In fact, once you get on a call and things become a little unsettling, you start sweating, you start getting nervous, if you don't have that practice under your belt, if you don't have that repetition, you're gonna start doing the wrong thing. You're not going to do the right thing. The reason pro sports players practice so much is because they want that muscle memory. They want to be able to just do it in critical situations without thinking. The same thing happens here. If you just learn it, but don't practice it, you're not going to result to it. You're not going to start doing it automatically without even thinking. That's what we need. So we've gotta have the repetitions, gotta practice. Do these things that you're learning within a proven methodology, do them 10, 20, 50 times before you start getting that feel of knowing it's going to happen under the heat of the moment. So practice, practice, practice. This involves doing it into a mirror, doing it yourself, recording it, doing it to a colleague or a friend, all of the above before you start talking to live prospects. Okay, two down, two to go. We've got how to be confident. Number one, follow a proven methodology, then practice it. Number three, celebrate wins like crazy. Any win you get, anytime you get some success, even if it's not an ultimate win of closing a deal, maybe it's just a little win. Maybe somebody returned your call. Maybe you had a really good sales call, a demo, and it went great and you feel awesome about it. Celebrate that. The more you start celebrating, the more you're going to want that. The more you're going to remember the good moments, the more you're going to feel that high. And so any of those little moments, I always try to celebrate them myself. I recommend that you do it as well. And number four, take action after those little wins. We talked about those little wins, all those good things that are happening. Do something. When you have a win, you're going to feel so good. You're going to feel on a high. That's when you're at your best. So go do something. Make some phone calls. Send some emails. Contact some prospects who've been a little cold. Your confidence will flow through the phone, through your emails. People will feel it. They'll feed off of it and they'll trust you that much more. So those are four ways that you can be more confident in your sales. I absolutely recommend doing this and start doing it right away. Now, if you wanna make sure that you are accelerating your sales and that you have that right methodology and the right process, then definitely get my course, Software Demo Secrets. In Software Demo Secrets, I show you how to do all of these things. 
and I lay it out step by step to make it really easy for you to soak it up, learn it, practice it, and spit it back out so you can start closing a ton of deals. People who've taken this course have seen doubling or tripling of their close rates within a few weeks. So I highly recommend it. You'll see the link down in the description. Hit that link, go get the course. You'll be rocking in no time. Thank you so much for being here. If you have any comments, absolutely put those comments down below. I love answering those. Love seeing your feedback. If you have any ideas for upcoming episodes, let me know. I'm looking to get some good information to you. Okay, guys, this is Matt. Thanks for being here. Take care.